Hey there, car enthusiasts. Welcome back to Weekly Tools, where we make car maintenance easy and straightforward. Today, we are retackling a super common issue, that annoying tire pressure light on your dashboard. You know the one, right? But don't worry, we're here to help you reset it, and get back on the road in no time. Let's dive in. First things first. If your tire pressure light is on, it means your car's TPMs, or tire pressure monitoring system, has detected a problem with one of your tires. Don't panic. Before we reset the light, make sure you've checked your tire pressure and fixed any issues, whether that's adding air or replacing a damaged tire. Once you've taken care of that, it's time to reset the light. There are a few methods depending on your car, so let's walk through them. If your vehicle has a reset button, here's what you need to do. Step 1. Turn your car off and then turn the key to the on position. If you have a push button, start, just press it once. Step 2. Now, find the TPM's reset button, usually located under the steering wheel or near the dashboard. Hold it down until you see the TPM's light flash three times. Step 3. Release the button, start your car, and wait about 20 minutes. The light should turn off as the system resets. But what if your car doesn't have a reset button? No worries. You can still reset the light by driving at or above 50 miles per hour for about 10 minutes. Once you've driven that speed for 10 minutes, the system should automatically reset the next time you turn on your car. Lastly, if you have an Obd2 scanner, some models like the Innova can help reset the TPM's light too. Simply plug the scanner into your car's diagnostic port, and it can not only find which tire is causing the issue but also reset the light after clearing the trouble code. And there you go. Whether you've got a reset button, a quick drive, or an Obd2 scanner, you've now got the power to turn off that pesky TPM's light. Remember, always check your tire pressure first before resetting the light. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more quick car tips right here on Weekly Tools. Thanks for watching Weekly Tools. See you in the next video.